So let's have a look at fine-tuning colours in photographs using the HSL and HSV adjustment options. Let's have a look first at what they are. HSL and HSV are hue, saturation and luminosity, often called lightness, and HSV, hue, saturation and value are both colour models used in photography for adjusting colours, but they have some key differences. The representation of colours is the first one, HSL. In HSL, colours are represented by three components. Hue, which determines the type of colour, like red, blue, green, etc. And saturation, which refers to the intensity or purity of the colour and the lightness which indicates how light or dark the colour is. With HSV, similarly, HSV also uses three components, hue, saturation and value. The key difference here is that value represents the brightness of the colour rather than its lightness. Value is a measure of how much light is being emitted or reflected by a colour. Now just a note here, in Affinity, Value is, has been changed to luminosity in the HSV um, option there. Now, lightness versus brightness. With HSL, lightness in HSL measures the amount of white or black mixed with the colours. This means that if you decrease the lightness, the colours become darker by adding black or lighter by adding white. In HSV, the value in HSV measures the brightness of the colours in terms of how much light it emits or reflects. Increasing the value makes the colours brighter, while decreasing it makes the colours darker without changing its hue or saturation. Now, its use in adjusting photos is what we're looking at, and HSL is often used for adjusting individual colour channels. For example, you can adjust the hue of the blues to make a sky bluer, or shift the hue of the greens to make foliage appear more vibrant. Saturation controls the intensity of these colours, making them more or less vivid, while lightness affects their brightness. HSV can also be used similarly to HSL but it's particularly effective for adjusting the overall brightness of an image without significantly altering its colours. By adjusting the value component, you can make an image brighter or darker, enhancing its overall luminance. Now, perceptual differences come into this. In HSL, changes in lightness in HSL often have the perceptual effect of changing the brightness of colours but they may not directly correspond to changes in brightness. In HSV, changes in value in HSV directly affect the perceived brightness of colours. Increasing the value makes colours brighter, while decreasing that colour makes them darker. Practicalities. In practical terms, both HSL and HSV are useful for colour adjustments in photography but they serve slightly different purposes. HSL is great for adjusting individual colour channels and controlling the lightness of colours, while HSV is useful for adjusting overall brightness without significantly altering the colours themselves. Lightness and luminosity are related concepts, but they are not the same. The difference between lightness and luminosity well, lightness is a component in colour models like HSL, hue, saturation, lightness, and represents how light or dark a colour appears. It refers to the perception of brightness relative to a neutral grey of the same brightness. Luminosity, on the other hand, is a measure of the total amount of light emitted by or reflected from an object. It's an objective measure of brightness that is often used in the context of the physical properties of light. In photography and image editing, lightness in HSL is a subjective measure used to adjust how light or dark a colour appears. 
Increasing lightness makes colours lighter, adding white, and decreasing it makes them darker, adding black. Luminosity is sometimes used as a more technical term, especially in the context of colour spaces like LAB. It refers to the brightness of a colour in a way that's perceptually uniform across different colours. Adjusting luminosity generally affects the overall brightness of an image without significantly changing its colour. So while they both deal with brightness, lightness is more subjective and tied to human perception, while luminosity is a more objective measure of the amount of light. It's worth noting that currently Affinity names luminous in both HSL and HSV option panels in place of lightness and value respectively. Maybe they'll change that. In summary, HSL lightness or luminosity affects the perceived brightness, while in HSV value, or in the affinity case again luminosity, directly adjusts the brightness of colours. Now its purpose, HSL is often used for adjusting individual colour channels and controlling the lightness of colours, like a lighter blue sky, etc while HSV is more effective for adjusting overall brightness of the image without altering colours as much. So let's look at two examples in real life photography. So to lighten up the highlights without losing the colour information using the HSV tool and boosting up the lightness or luminosity slider, we remove all the blacks from the colours, making the colours really pop. Now you can see what I've done there. The resulting image is a nice colour map we can use to blend in the original image. And you can see the lower bar, the top image with its lower bar of the three has been set to 100% and the other two stay on zero, saturation and hue. Now the luminosity has moved across to the right there. This is in HSV. Using the blend settings, we can gradually blend in the highlights using the underlying composition ranges on the right side and angling the graph bar down to the left. And you can see it's put in those colours there, but we're not finished yet. The next step would be to bring back more colours to the shadows. Select the image layer again and add an HSL adjustment layer. In the HSV adjustment layer option, now we maximise the saturation, making the colours as pure as possible, as we only want to affect the shadows. Make sure the luminosity and hue are set to zero. And I forgot to mention, you will have to duplicate the image so that we're working with the second image. And you can see in the layers panel I've got there, I've got two layers. We can again use the blend settings and adjust it so that the underlying composition ranges only affect the dark areas. Underlying composition ranges is the right hand side blend option tool. We do this on the duplicate of the first layer we created. And you can see the underlying composition ranges graph there is down to the right. And from the source layer ranges, the tool on the left side, we also use the, dark, use the dark areas, making sure no light areas are blended by dragging the graph line down to the right hand corner. And you can check this by turning the adjustment layers on or off. This is our original image. And this is the first shift adjustment luminosity all the way to the right and our blend mode set that way close that and close that I duplicated that and you can see there that it's let me turn those on I've duplicated that there and put in that one there which is now the HSV layer, saturation all the way to the right, and the blend mode, source layer ranges there, and underlying composition ranges there. Close
close those down. Now you can see, turn that off, turn that off, and turn that off. There's our original image, our original image with the first shift on it. The second image with the second shift on it. So don't forget to subscribe and wander through the channel and see what else is on there. There's lots of videos for you to watch.